Hey there, another super rough video here. But I'm saying bye to Kiwa Mayra. Uh, bye for now. Be back soon, I hope. But I'm still sitting with this because I've done a lot of work back here. <laughs> uh, but it would be cool to get this out in the other room. But yeah, this is, I'm looking at it now and I'm like, this is a lot of work in here already, but someone pointed out on Model Rail Radio that it's better to tear it up now and do what I want rather than build on a base that's not quite 100%. So, yikes though, it's gonna be a bummer taking this down. Um, so yeah, I'm trying to get this to be my office back here and I'll show you the rest of the, uh, the layout area in a minute. But all this is coming out. Like I said, I'm gonna take out the track first, take all the track out. Then, well, first I'm gonna back up all the, back up, wow, what up software nerd. <laughs> I'm gonna pack up all the buildings and get all that boxed up and safe along with the trains and the like. Then I'm going to attempt to kind of pull this apart in pieces. I'm going to do the track, and this is going to be the tough part. This is all foam right here, which is not going to come up very easily because I glued it down. Um, this stuff is all screwed down, so that hopefully will come out. And then I'm going to pile up all this stuff in here. Let's go in the other room. Here's my layout currently behind all this plastic and this will be the area here where the new stuff will go in and you can see this is the end of the table here and it'll block off this door and come around trip over a box and just fill in this area here um a couple of things i'm dealing with is I didn't have this door swing out because the original plan was that I was just gonna keep my office the way it was so it didn't really need to swing out but now having it swing in it's gonna affect um, the layout so I only won't be able to open the door this far which you can't really see because there you go. so that's still not bad but it's not great so I'm kind of playing around with the idea of maybe it just comes, the layout just comes to here. It doesn't go all the way across. It just makes an L, so an additional L here, which would still not be bad, but then I'm still faced with my um, issue that I was trying to work around, which is being able to run longer trains. Um, you know, if I do play around with some of the... Um, the track radiuses, if I move Shizuka here over to that area and then have a wider track radius on this side and a wider track radius back there um, in this particular zone here, then maybe, um, maybe that'll work as well. So maybe instead of having this swoop here that swoops in, um, maybe this comes straight across to here. I don't know. So playing around with those ideas now and trying to get some things dialed in that way. But yeah, it's moving right along, which is nice. Um, trying to sell more stuff so I can buy more stuff, which is always fun. Um, but yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. The debris is was not that bad. This is the extent of it from uh, having the doors put on. And I'm glad I moved this stuff here, but so that's not too bad. Um, and then, uh, yeah, I'm left with this whole area here to play with. So we'll see how that goes. And I'll have nice new doors here, which is fantastic. Two of them. And this one even has a shade on it. So I can block my uh, my layout. 
now. The sun was coming in and baking my buildings. So yeah, that's uh, that's the extent. That's where we're at. We're dealing with a lot of plastic, plastic sheeting. That's kind of fun. All that's coming down. Maybe today, so I can see my layout again. And uh, yeah, I'm going dealing with tearing this baby out. And I'm assuming I'm making the right decision. <laughs> I'm hoping. So um, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna start in packing up the buildings today. So woohoo! I'm looking at it as a good thing. <laughs> All right, thanks all.